Hi, in this video, I'm going to try and answer a question that many people have asked about. How do I know when something's in simple time or something's in compound time? Now, some of you want to know how it looks on paper. Some of you want to know how you actually hear the difference. Well, you can look on the Music Matters website and find detailed explanations of simple and compound time during the course of the grade one to five theory package. So I'll try and give you a very abbreviated version of that, but the full information is all there if you want it. Basically, if you have two, three, or four as the upper number in a time signature, you're in simple time. If you have six, nine or 12 as the upper number in a time signature, you're in compound time. Now you might immediately say, well, how do we know that? Well, take that as a fact in this abbreviated explanation, but I explain all that in full during the course to which I've just referred. Okay, but basically what we're doing, when we're in simple time, the time signatures were two, three and four at the top, the time signature means what it says. So the upper number says how many beats there are in a bar, the lower number tells us what kind of beats they are. So the two says there are two beats in each bar, the four says those beats are crotchet beats or quarter note beats. Okay, again the full explanation as to why four means that is in that other course, but take it for now that it's what it says on the tin. Two beats in a bar, the four says they're crotchet beats or quarter note beats. And if you look at every bar, well, yes, there's two crotchets or two quarter notes in each bar or the equivalent of that. Okay, so that's in simple time. And in simple time, the definition of it is that every beat naturally divides in two. So if I take a crotchet beat or a quarter note beat, it naturally breaks into two, into two quavers or two of those eighth notes, all right? In compound time, things are just marginally more complicated. So six, nine, or 12, remember, flags up compound time. So let's start by what it says on the tin. Six, eight means six, remember, how many of something there are in the bar. So there are six somethings in every bar. What are those somethings? They're quavers, all right? So eight, means quavers or eighth notes. So six eighth notes in every bar or six quavers in every bar. But when we come to compound time, we take one further step because we don't say there are six quaver beats in a bar or six eighth note beats in a bar. We make this additional step because in compound time, everything divides into threes. Remember we said in simple time, things naturally divide into twos, but in compound time, things naturally divide into three. So in two, four, what it says is that I've got this as the beat in every bar. That's straightforward enough. It's simple. So because it's simple, just do what it says on the tin. When I'm in compound time, it could have been called complicated time. It's not that complicated, but it's called compound time. What does this say? It says I've got six quavers or six eighth notes in the bar, but the additional step is divide them into groups of three. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you see what I've done? I've taken what it says here, six quavers or six eighth notes, and I've divided them into groups of three. Then I say, what's the value of each group of three? So this group of three is worth this. That group of three is worth the same again. And so in six, eight, I've got two beats in a bar, but these are the beats. Do you see how we got there? In two, four, I've got two beats in a bar, and it's simply what it says on the tin. Two crotchet beats, two quarter notes. Here they are. In six, eight, it's a compound time because six, nine, 12, compound time. Do what it says on the tin, write six of these, one, two, three, four, five, six. Divide them into groups of three, one group of three, second group of three. What's the total value of each group of three? It's this. How many of these beats have I got? Two. So two fours got two beats in a bar. Six, eight has also got two beats in a bar. We call this simple duple and we call this compound duple. 
If I was in 3-4, I'd be in simple triple. 9-8, compound triple. 4-4, four, four, simple triple. 12-8, compound quadruple. You see how that works. Okay, now then, what does it actually mean in practice? Well, here's a tune that I've written in 2-4. So counting these beats, what have I got? One, two, one, two, one and two and one, two. And you can hear in this bar how it really just naturally does divide each beat into two, doesn't it? Okay, so we can hear that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, now this is a variation on the same tune, right? There's one additional note just to make it work. But this time I'm doing it in six, eight. Now I'm hearing one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now can you feel it? It's got a slightly different feel to it because this time I'm hearing, if I count the six, one, two, three, four, five, 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 six. But it sounds a bit manic, doesn't it, if I count six at that speed? So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I hear two beats, but one, two, one, two. But here those beats are dividing into three. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put it another way. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And he suddenly it makes more sense, doesn't it, to count it in two. So in this version, I'm counting two beats. In this version, I'm counting two beats. In this version, those beats naturally divide into two. In this version, these beats naturally divide into three. So it has a different feel to it. You can feel the compound time as a slightly more kind of lilting quality, doesn't it, than the two, four time. But I hope that enables you to understand the theoretical difference and also just to begin to hear the difference. Let me play them again. So here's two, four. Here's six, eight. And you can feel there's a slight difference, but you're still counting two beats in both of them. This one's simple duple time, this one's compound duple time. So I hope that helps demystify this whole area of what's simple time, what's compound time, how do I hear the difference?